What's up, YouTube? I'm Kolb, and welcome to the project. It's about 20 degrees here in New York. Temperature dropped, uh, but we're out here in the garage. Gonna make a video anyway. Uh, I had an item on Amazon that I wanted for a while. I've uh, been eyeing it up, and it finally got a notification that the price dropped significantly. So I uh, bought it last week, and this is uh, Zip. This is an XY uh, vise for the drill press, for this here wind drill press. Um, this isn't exactly specifically made for the when, uh, but I figured we could make it work. So this video, I'm going to get this XY adapter to fit on this plate. So let's do it. All right. So here's a better look at the XY vise. This came at about $40 or something, something like that on Amazon. I know it's cheap uh, and I'm a firm believer of you get what you pay for, but I couldn't pass this up. It was basically all five star reviews and the ones that got one star was from the ones that arrived broken. It was very poorly packaged. Uh, this one survived the shipping. The finish is, uh, is some, left something to be desired. It's got some sharp burrs on the corners that I'll file down, but uh, no biggie. Um, <clears throat> I figured that I could get this to sit on this, this plate, but even after it's all the way down, there's still not much room between uh, where the drill comes down and the top of the vise. So I don't think it's going to work up here. Um, I think it's meant for down here. The way the uh, the holes are for mounting, it looks like it mounts up down at the base better. But the drill press doesn't reach all the way down there, so uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, I think, or what I am going to do, is going to back this off and we're going to make an adapter to fit in here. Now the vise will just ride right on that. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So uh, let's get started. So what I did was I measured the outer diameter of, of this base. It's about one and seven eighths. So I went to Home Depot and I got me a galvanized pipe adapter. This is threaded and this is just about one and seven eighths. <clears throat> so this is what I'm gonna insert into the drill press. And I have the galvanized base plate to go with it. So we'll have this threaded in here. And then this will get mounted to that. Then we'll just mount the vise onto the plywood. Alright, I got a scrap piece of plywood that I used for making that speaker tester device thingy a few videos back and I'm just going to measure this up and cut a nice piece of this three quarters plywood to match up to this vise. So, I'm just going to go about this deep, make it flush, and the width not gonna go crazy. Just cut a couple inches off. Uh, right about, right about here. It is freaking cold out. Gonna mark the center one here. Mark the one on the back. And the one on the other side. Okay, those are marked. And uh, I picked out uh, picked out some washers here. Picked out some nuts here, and I picked out some bolts here. And they're all matching. So if you don't know me by now, now you know. They all got to be matching. And these are 5 sixteenths in diameter, so we're going to use a 3 8 drill bit. If 
you're wondering why I put tape on the bottom, it's for this reason exactly. Because I don't want crumbs getting in it. I don't know why. Just want to keep it clean, I guess. Alright, I don't want any metal touching metal on this. So I'm going to make sure these holes are in line with the base of the vise. Otherwise, backs of the screws will hit this. Uh, you know what? I'm probably just going to grind it off anyway. But we'll keep it straight up and down. Why not? Alright guys, so I grabbed a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill through the plywood. And uh, I just noticed that the screws I was going to use for the flange aren't going to work. Because the flathead is just a bit too small. See that? That's not a magic trick. That's actually me planning the wrong screws. So, you might actually witness me breaking my cardinal rule. I'm going to use these bigger flathead screws and they don't match. And that drives me crazy. But it's all good this time because uh, I'm going to grind off the all the back parts that stick through. And uh, yeah, you won't be able to know that these are all different sizes. So, whew, dodged a bullet on that one. Pre-drill. Man, drill presses are great. That makes drilling holes a dream. Makes it actually fun. You never realize how many things you'll want to drill until you get a drill press. So here we go. Our base plate is ready. All right, I'm just gonna throw on some thread locker on this bad boy. That's a lot. That's plenty. <laughs> Cause I don't want this going anywhere when it's on that vise. When it's on the drill press. I don't want the vise on the drill press going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there. Gotta cut off these. This ain't going anywhere once it's on. Cool. Alright, got this all mounted up. this on. Slap. Slap this on. Yes, that's a very scientific word. Alright, there we go. Out with the old and in with the new. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's uh, a custom mount for, I guess, any drill press to take any uh, XY vise. Now you have a drill press that can act as a milling machine. So that's it. That's it for this project. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next project.